equator headband. This is a very easy and fast knit headband and because of that line I call it equator. I uh, Hopefully I'm going to remember that word but I call this video a tutorial because I'm going to walk you through it, how to do it. I'm not going to show you but I have a few tutorials that I will be pointing out over here in the eye and put them down below so you can go through them. So basically this tutorial is to like maybe to intermediate knitter but beginners if you follow the tutorials you can definitely do it. But first watch it fully and then if you're happy with it try it. What you need, you will need yarn and I use fingering weight yarn. I'm going to tell you at the end of the video what kind of yarn I used but fingering weight yarn and in the needles I used, I used these and I used three millimeter needles which is US size 2.5. I should probably tell you about gauge but I'm not going to. What I did over here I cast it on 120 stitches and that's what I did because that's normally a number of stitches that I feel comfortable when I'm knitting um, a hat for myself. I suggest you just go for it, knit it, whatever comes up out of it there's definitely head that will fit it and that way you will know do you want, is it too tight for you, Does this, is it too loose for you. So once you have needles, once you have yarn and the yarn that I used over here um, it took 41 grams so I would go if you have 50 grams you know better to have 50. Start casting on and you can do a uh, back loop cast on method and now I'm pointing out over here to let you know there is a tutorial how to do it. It's the easiest cast on and normally it's not used to start anything. It's normally used to maybe add some stitches while you're knitting sweaters but I like it because at the end of our knitting we will be picking up those edges, those kind of loops and it's very visible and very stretchy edge and that bind off create very stretchy edge so you don't have to worry about it and over here this is what we're aiming for. So once you do that you cast on 120 stitches do using back loop cast on method then you just do knit one and purl one for how long until you are satisfied with the length just to be aware that we are folding it so you don't have any edges over here they're folded so what I did I think I went over here to like seven and a half inches and then I put it back or eight inches and I have four inches overall I need to actually double check uh, while I was knitting the best way to do it's while you're knitting you just put that edge inside and just place it near your head and you will know are you happy with it or not and then the final thing will be quite exciting because we will be joining those two edges together and you have many ways you can join them but the way I did that created this little braid. I have recorded how I did this braid bind off joining two edges together so I'm going to show you this over here so you can follow that. The only thing is when you go to the middle I don't have a tutorial for that when you're completely finished right what you can do you can just grab um a stitch or something that you can see from the beginning of a round let's call that way and then knit it together to close it nicely and then pull the yarn through the last stitch cut it and then wave in ends the way i waved in ends is that i this thing does not move so i tried to catch but without you know poke, poking things up on the other side before you even start bind off, bind off, just to be aware it's better to have it loose like this, you see it when you're making it, even it's going off your needles, then it's too tight because as you can see we want to have it in the middle so even if it's too much it will give you more um, textured or more efficient, I don't know the word, no you will see this thing even better so don't worry about it, do it more loose than tight and all be fine. Okay and once you have that done this is what I classify as the at the end however this braid is so nice and if you have some crochet skills you can actually take your hook and create some flowers attach something to this braid to keep it it'll be very cool I would think um, so you can attach uh, a bits around maybe little flowers which will look so cute Ecuador Ecuador headband so I hope you did not mind me of this kind of talk you through tutorial because I figure out why not when I finished it. So that's that. Now 
I'm going to tell you what kind of yarn I use. And the yarn I use is this one. Like I said, I use 41 grams, so I still have 60 left. I love the label. This is Knit Create Yarn from their club, so monthly subscription. I open it on this channel, so I'm going to put it in the eye if you're interested in what kind of blend it is. It was from March 2021 in the Suck Club. So and that's what I used. I think they had some the interesting blend. Even though they recommend it for sock, I thought it's too good. It's too good for socks. Therefore, first I wanted to knit a hat, but then it got warm and I ended up having a headband. So let me know how's your knitting going. Just FYI, this channel is for knitting inspiration. I have loads of finished objects, so maybe something inspires you to knit. I follow patterns, free patterns, paper patterns. There are a few tutorials, but just basics. I'm warning you if you're subscribing only for knitting tutorials. I'm just saying. And also, I love knitting socks, so maybe I'll put two tutorials down below how to knit them. I knit one at a time, just saying. Toe up, that's my favorite, in case you'd want to try. Enjoy. But if you're not a knitter, or maybe it's still some learning curve, in 2021st, or in my members, join Bottle, check the perks, I'm knitting socks, and organize giveaways to give them away. So I hope you enjoy this one. See you next one. Bye. Thank you.